Okay, so you know he's talked about you being a cheerleader, right? Yes. I say you do a cheer. Give me a J. J. Give me an A. A. Give me an I. I. Give me an M. M. There's nothing like your parents hooking you up with someone that's goddamn illiterate. The name Jamie really isn't the most difficult one in the book. I'm not sure how you messed that up. But I mean, hey, get a good look at her. Are you asking her about anything academic whatsoever? Yeah, I didn't think so. What's up, boys? It's Bumpkin, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So I was having mic troubles for like an hour. If this comes out late, well, damn, sorry. This is the part two of that one dating show we were looking at, Parental Control. If you haven't seen part one, I do recommend you look at it. It has some context that you might want. I really do wish there wasn't a Pomeranian outside yapping. That'd be great. Hopefully all of you are having a good day. We already know about this video, so we're just going to continue from where we started. If you like it, leave a like. If you don't, leave a like anyway. Subscribe. Thank you. It was a great time. Thank you for the perfect day. You're welcome. A perfect day. Yeah. Perfect. He said a perfect no, day. No, just a day. A perfect day. Bye. You out yeah. of here. <gasps> yes. Oh you my out gosh. of here. That was so so amazing. I said this already in the last video, but I feel like it's necessary to repeat. She's talking so much shit, but I've, I've yet to see anything impressive from her. All she's done is made fun of literally anything she could possible, and that's, that's about as far as her talent goes. Honestly, if he doesn't break up with her after this show, she's got like the secret formula in her back pocket or something. <laughs> he called that the perfect date. She's got like no chance. Here's the deal. My parents can't stand Chanel, so he's driving them crazy. My parents are setting me up on two blind dates. Holy shit, we already know this part. God damn. Why don't you listen, Chanel? Why you make things Why so do I have hard? to? When you're in my house, you listen. No. Can you please stick up for me? Oh, here we go again. Oh, would you please stick up for me? You're gonna let your mom talk to me like that? Like what? I'm stuck in the middle. Like, dude, putting someone in between your fight between you and your parents has to be one of the most dog shit situations to be in because it doesn't matter what you do. Either choice you make, someone's not going to like you after. If you're in this situation, just do yourself a favor, pack your bags, book a flight to like Morocco or some shit. I don't know. Find someone to get married to and just like live your life from then on because honestly, you have a better chance of surviving through that situation than any fight involving your lover's parents. Careful with that. I love my parents and I love you, so it's- You don't have to stuck in the middle. That's right. You have to make a decision and your decision is to kick it out of the house. Yeah, son, that's your decision that you just made just now with your mind. Get her the fuck out of- Like, dog, they're so good at making decisions for their son. They're naturals at it. Honestly, they were meant for the show. This is honestly the first time in my life I've seen somebody make a decision from another person's body. It was amazing, honestly. I'm impressed. Oh, oh. Oh! Go get the door, Dad. Big surprise. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How good are you? Good to see you. I chose Chelsea. She's happy. She has a beautiful smile. She started working at a Hooters. Listen, old man, we saw the way you looked at her. Don't give me the bullshit like you're actually interested in her. I'm not completely employed right now, but I actually have an interview today at Hooters. Hooters? Uh, Hooters. <laughs> Hooters. You should do. Hooters. <laughs> okay. Dad. Okay. See, like, this literally just shouldn't have been allowed. That dad's got some underlying intentions, and I just don't know how to feel about it. Bro really would have had to sleep on the couch for that one if I was the wife. I'm just saying. Hi. Hi. I'm Chelsea. I'm Jamie. Hi. Oh. This is Chanel. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Chelsea was honestly not cute. It was like... <laughs> Like, I thought I was, I thought we were dealing with a pig. Listen, if you're insecure, just say that. You don't have to sit here and pretend like she's extremely ugly compared to you, all right? Don't fucking flatter yourself. And I'm not even trying to be mean about it. It's like people will go out of their way to make anybody feel like absolute garbage just to make themselves feel better. Like, wow, you must feel so fulfilled making her feel worse about her appearance. That's really gonna get you your boyfriend back because you've already lost him at this point. I'm convinced she's currently in the process of getting her boyfriend back and she's She's just not doing a very good job. You ready for your date? It's all yours. Enjoy yourself. Today, we are going on a Krav Maga date. It's a self-defense fighting class. I think it's a unique out-of-the-box date. Even though I might be able to beat him, it might be a turn-on. You never know. <laughs>
There's like a 90% chance she's murdered people, without a doubt. She seems very confident in beating him. I feel like she could like put a bear in a headlock working at Hooters from 9 to 5 and consuming lion hearts at 10 p.m. She came into this dating show looking for a masochist. All right, that's enough alpha female jokes. Let's do it. Let's see how much fun they have. Hi. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Chelsea. Glad you guys can make it, Chelsea. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet you. Nice how you doing? You ready to get changed? Until you get changed. All right. Honestly, it looks like she's pregnant. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Guys, how many months pregnant do you think she is? G you know, just give me a number. Let's say about five or six months pregnant. And if you just look hard enough, you can see that bump forming. I might just go ahead and say seven months pregnant. They're going to go to her ultrasound and they're going to find nothing but one Cheerio and half a banana. It looks like she gets full off the thought of food. That's... <laughs> That's how flat her stomach is. I mean, the guy did say he likes athletic girls. I think the other girl's mad that she does nothing and she's like doing martial arts of some sort. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Look, the place is called Krav Maga. Don't know what the fuck that is, but that probably wasn't the best name to make your company. But listen, it's not his fault that in the future, our 45th president came up with the abbreviation MAGA. It's just something to think about, you know? Compared to my body, her body looked like a blimp. Hey. Oh, snap. Ready? <laughs> Can I get a little turn real quick? Can I get a little turn? Ooh, looking good. Oh, a blimp, huh? Damn. I guess your boy fucks with blimps. <laughs> Listen, I'm only saying this because she's trying really hard to act like she looks absolutely unbearable. And I've seen girls do this before to each other, especially when they're jealous. It's like, listen, we all saw her. We all saw you. You're like 5'10". She's like 5'2". Compared to her, you're the blimp, really. If I can decipher you from a crowd of women, you're definitely tall as shit. Oh, he wants to see the whole body. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She likes to eat, you can tell. Look who's talking. You're a bag of potato. Listen, bro, I'm not even... <laughs> the shape of her head literally looks like a potato bag right here. I'm sorry. But it's like, I'm really not sorry because as much shit as she's talking, somebody should be flaming the shit out of her. I'm glad the dad said that. Unironically calling people skinnier than you are a blimp. That's ridiculous. So now we're going to work into more of our self-defense scenario. We're okay. going to put ourselves in a position where you, being the female victim, are on your back and you got a guy on top of you. Chelsea. Hey, bro, you gotta chill. Even on national TV, she just couldn't not be horny for five seconds. Like, goddamn, keep your composure. Your grandmother's probably watching. But I mean, honestly, with the mom that that guy has and the job that she works at, she could do anything, really. I mean, how many moms would be okay with their son's girlfriend working at Hooters? Personally, I think a mother shouldn't care, but it's like, you know how parents can be. You lie on your back. Now, a couple hey, don't get too you. excited, right? <laughs> honestly, look how easy it is to get her on her back. Freaking picked a real slut here. How can you say something like that? There just... She's in between his legs. That's a good date. Oh shit, loving this pose. We're just gonna stick with this one. Dog, she is getting so salty that they're having a good time. But I mean, look, I'd be pretty salty as well if I had to watch my girlfriend go on a date while I watched it on a DVD. It's not even live. They should do this on Twitch so she can go inside of the chat and tell her that she's breaking up with him before he can come back home. I could just imagine her donating a thousand dollars just to get one more good flex in before calling that girl a fat bitch. She's really angry that they're having a good time, and I find it funny. Up and over, nice, finish the fight, strike. Strike, strike, strike. Good in time. <laughs> Did she just fart on him? Congratulations, she just dropped ass on your son. <laughs> All right, that's like the funniest thing she said. What did she do there? Was that like a little victory dance? All right, look, this is the one time I'm gonna really tag team with her on this because it was pretty stupid looking. It looks like she's doing a dance move that's just way above her criteria. She should have just pinned him down, got up, and just left it there. If anything, I don't know, pretend to punch, do something other than whatever that was. See, this is supposed to be like self defense, her against a male so she can like survive. Yeah, this would have gotten you kidnapped. I saw you dancing a lot in the gym. Yeah. Have any other dance moves? Wait, so that was like dead ass a dance move? I was just joking around. I was just making it funny because it was so god awful. I thought I could like call it dancing and it'd be funny. Oh, that was actually her busting a move. Well, not invited to any of the family reunions, I know that. Those moves could kill a vibe in an instant. In fact, you're not invited to any parties either. All three of them, beautiful, great, energetic, funny. As of right now, I'm mixed up and I have no idea who I want to pick. 
This game show is just really about saving money, huh? They've got him inside of his own house with three girls all fighting to date him. A fight could break loose at any moment. Someone could really catch the quickest fade in history. And not a soul and a half was like, this is a bad idea. Maybe we should separate them just a little bit. I mean, hey, when he makes the choice, it's either going to be really funny or anticlimactic. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, ladies, I want to say thank you for an amazing day. Now it's time for me to say bye to one of you. Chelsea, you were energetic, very spunky, and overall great girl, but you're fucking annoying and you tried to fart in my mouth earlier, so get out of my house. You want me to be honest, my guess out of this whole situation is he's just gonna get back with his girlfriend. He didn't want to do this in the first place. Now I gotta choose between two amazing girls. Dude, how bad is this girl? They're like holding hands for him to choose this random that they found out in the middle of the street. Why don't you just tell your son to move out of the goddamn house? Jeez, what a simple solution. Tell him to get his money up and not his funny up. And then burn all of his furniture. And the girl I choose is... I cut it up, but this pause was so goddamn long, it probably could have taken all the money from my video. Chanel. <laughs> well, I mean, there you have it. <laughs> I already said this was gonna happen anyway. I'm not surprised about the outcome, mostly because you continuing to date someone that you know you love and know you want to spend the rest of your time with, or at least most of it, versus two randoms that your parents chose yeah your parents are gonna think they know what you want the most but i mean that's how it was for a while as a kid parents knew what you wanted it's just he's like what 19 20 now he's a goddamn adult let him make his own choices tell him to shape his woman up or move out and i mean it's just as simple as that and on that note thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you'd enjoy it please leave a like and subscribe also be sure to comment down below so i can go hard it while you're ready to go follow my instagram and my twitter you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, peace.